Hello, my dear friends. Shurma here. A very warm welcome to my show and hope you all are doing great. Today, I would like to present a painting tutorial titled Roses on Black. Materials needed for the project are all listed over here. So, let's dive into the first chapter that deals with the backdrop for the floral painting. For starters, I have a black watercolor paper which is 3.3 inches by 5 inches in size and I have created an interesting background over it with the help of stencil and acrylic colors. And if you would like to know more about the background technique, then please click on the i button at the top right hand corner of this screen. So, I would be creating the floral painting on this particular piece of stenciled black watercolor paper. That leads us to chapter number 2, creating pink roses in one stroke style of painting. Here is the palette. I have pink, white and permanent rose acrylic colors. And here is a flat brush number 6 which I am loading with pink and white acrylic. So this is called double loading of the brush as far as one stroke style of painting is concerned. I will tell you more about it in a bit. Next I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 4 and I dip it in permanent rose as well as pink to create a very loose form of the rose right in the middle of the background paper. Next I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 6 and I have already loaded it with pink and white acrylic. And I start creating the first layer of petals of the focal rose. So please follow me as I create the roses on black. Well, as I mentioned earlier, I am using the one stroke style of painting to create the florals for today's project. Now this particular technique called one stroke painting is a very easy and unique way of creating effects of nature. And with the help of this technique we can create shading, highlighting as well as color changes in just one stroke of the paintbrush. Now isn't that amazing? Essentially this particular technique involves loading the brush with more than one color. That is you can have two, three, four, as many colors as you want on the brush and that will create the magic for you when you put it down on paper or any other surface of your choice. So that is about the one stroke style of painting. Now in today's project I have used a black background to create some very bright rose florals on it. Now the choice of colors for today's project has come up because of a thought behind it and I'm going to share it with you today because I felt it is important. We have just stepped into the year 2022 according to the Gregorian calendar and there's already so much happening around us in the world we live in. So much has changed in the last two years because of the pandemic and so many other factors which have made the world a totally different place nowadays. The pandemic around the world especially has had profound impact on lives and livelihoods. 
there are huge challenges related to it. Despite recent global health gains across the world, people continue to face complex threats to their health and well-being. And there's no doubt about that. The situation across the world has also put constraints on the health systems in delivery and accessing health services. Now many countries have taken steps to extend social safety nets to their people. The doctors and the healthcare workers are the ones who have taken the biggest hit due to the ongoing pandemic. Stress and anxiety is rising among people. Healthcare professionals have been on the front line during this crisis and I know it firsthand because my daughter happens to be a medical doctor by profession and has been in the thick of things from day one. During my conversation with my daughter and her medical friends, I have come to understand that they have come up with their own set of methods to cope with the ever-changing situation around them. In that context, my daughter, Dr. Udita, shared a post with me which echoes their thought process in such difficult situations. And I quote, Sometimes the best thing you do is not think, not wonder, not imagine, not obsess. Just breathe and have faith that everything will work out for the best. Isn't it so apt? So, as you see in work or art, I believe that whenever we are in doubt, it is best to hold the hand of the Almighty and He is the one who will show us the way and lead us from darkness to light. Hence, the card background is black and the florals are bright. So that is the thought behind roses on black. That leads us to chapter number three, that is painting the foliage. Here is the palette for the foliage and I have pink acrylic, deep green, bamboo green, olive green and white acrylic and again a flat brush number six which I am loading with olive green, bamboo green and white acrylic. So this is triple loading of the brush and I am blending the colors well for good results. Next I go ahead and pick up a liner brush and I've loaded it with olive green and white acrylic and I'm just trying to place some stems and that will help me to decide where to place the leaves. Some more stems. Next, I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 6 and remember I have olive green, bamboo green and white on it. And certain times I have also gone ahead and added a bit of deep green to it to create some variation in the colors of the leaves. So these are one stroke style leaves in the making. Uh, yes, if in case you are new to one stroke style of painting or you would like to know more about it and brush up your stroke skills, then I would encourage you to please watch my older videos 
and I would be very happy to drop some of the links in the description box below. Now for this particular leaf as you see I have gone ahead and added a bit of pink acrylic to the mix of greens and that creates a lot of difference. Right here for this little leaf I have used only white and pink and that creates a totally different grayish looking color. These kind of variations actually help in adding interest to the painting. These pinky leaves are looking pretty, aren't they? I would like to hear from you and I would also like to know your thoughts about this particular painting. Your queries and suggestions are also welcome. So please feel free to comment in the box below. These are some very small slider leaves in pink and green. Next, I go ahead and pick up a liner brush and I fix the stems by adding more of green and white for highlights. Once I'm happy with the stems, I go ahead and pick up some bamboo on my liner brush and I'm creating the veins and the vines. essentially filling up the blank areas just to balance the painting. And there you go, the painting panel is all done and you will see it up close in a bit. Here it is. Well, that leads us to the last chapter and that is assembling the note card. So now I have three elements with me. One is the painted panel, second is a white note card base and third is a little sentiment. Once I put all of them together, this is how it looks. And yes, that's a wrap on today's project. Hope you enjoyed watching me paint the roses on black in one stroke style. Would love to know your thoughts on the same. Also, please connect with me on my social media handles and it would be a great pleasure to be in touch with you. Thanks a ton for my YouTube family out there and I greatly appreciate your love and support for my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Meanwhile, here are some of my older floral painting videos which you might like as well. Do stay tuned and I will be back very soon with more floral painting tutorials. Till then, bye-bye.